read it, please. <laughs> everybody it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a new series on my channel which I am calling the Roy G Biv series I have no idea if anybody has ever done this I honestly did not look it up but if they have please let me know so that I can give them credit down below I am currently teaching preschool and their interest the past couple of weeks has been learning the colors of the rainbow and anything to do with colors which made me think maybe I can incorporate that into my channel so I've decided that I'm going to do this series the Roy G Biv series and I'm just going to recommend you guys books based off of the colors of the rainbow so the first color of the rainbow is red so today we are doing all red books I have six books to recommend you guys for this video so without further ado let us get started <sighs> most of these books are books that i have rated very highly either five 4.5 i'm pretty sure they're all at least 4.5 but i love these books so i want to share them with you the first one that i have is where dreams descend by janelle angeles and this is a loose retelling of the phantom of the opera the second book is being released very soon in september which i am beyond excited about this is one that i gave five out of five stars it follows a girl named Kalia who has been dancing at a club owned by a very mysterious man named Jax, who claims to only be protecting her she wants nothing more than to be the headliner of her own show and so she enters a competition at a nearby town called glory in, and it's to discover the new headliner for this traveling circus. So Kalia works with her new assistant Aros in battling the prejudice that is held against her due to her being a woman in the magician industry. And then a lot of her competition starts to go missing and people start pointing their fingers towards Kalia for the disappearances. Meanwhile, Kalia believes that Jax is actually behind the missing competitors and she needs to hide this from Darren DeMarco who is a former stage magician and one of the judges for the competition and it's like the story of that but it is so much fun I love this cast of characters the whole atmosphere of this book is just so whimsical and the setting of Hellfire House and the city of Glorian is just so mysterious and I honestly did not think that I was going to like this book as much as I did but I was instantly drawn into this world and this whole story and I highly recommend you guys check it out if you haven't already and also like I said the second book is coming out in September very very soon so it's the perfect time to read it and then pick up the sequel next up is another one that I gave five out of five stars but I have not heard anybody on booktube talk about it except me but I am obsessed with this book It's called temper by Lane Fargo this follows a struggling actress named Kira who decides to audition for a theater company in Chicago run by a woman named Joanna as well as Malcolm Mercer Malcolm Mercer is a very famous director who is known for his problematic ways of dealing with his actors and actresses. Malcolm is always the lead actor in all of the plays that he directs and when Kira is given the other lead in this upcoming play called Temper, she believes that she can handle anything that Malcolm throws her way and he will not be able to break her like he has broken all of his other actors and actresses. Honestly, the less you know about this book, the better. The best way that I can describe it is the Charlie Day meme where he's trying to explain the whiteboard image behind him and he's just sitting there like and everything like connects. I'll try to find a picture of it and insert it but it is like the perfect way to describe this book which sounds really weird but when you read it you'll get what I mean. The book is very slow burn and there are a lot of small unveils throughout the story that you think are just little throwaway comments but end up being major plot points in the book at the end which was just so much fun to try to figure out. I definitely recommend this. It is such a fun time and not enough people have read this book so I really think that you should pick up temper. 
read it, please. <laughs> Next up is Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpedro. This should come to no surprise to any of you if you've been on this channel for a while. You all know I really love this book. This is another one I gave five out of five stars. It follows two sisters, Veronica and Val, who have always just depended on each other. Veronica has wanted nothing more than to join the Phoenix Riders, but Val is determined to just stick together and not go anywhere near these riders. So when Val ends up betraying Veronica in a very big way, she goes off on her own in search of these riders. So when Veronica discovers that the riders only accept males into their ranks, she decides that she is going to disguise herself as a male. She becomes close with Tristan, who is the son of the commander, and things are going very well for her until her sister shows up and reveals her true identity and things get a little bit complicated from there. This is another book that I did not expect to like as much as I did, but I was so sucked into this world and these characters. This is a multiple point of view book. We get three points of view, Tristan, Veronica, and a person named Sev. All of the stories end up being interwoven, intersecting at some point, which was really interesting. This is one of those books where I fell in love with both of the main characters. Veronica was just so much fun to watch grow and become more confident as the story progressed. Tristan was my sweet angel cinnamon roll. I loved him. He was just so precious. There's also phoenixes in this book, which hello, I love that. I thought that the, the bonds between the phoenix and the riders were really interesting, and I'm definitely intrigued to pick up the second book, which is literally sitting right in front of me right now because I've been meaning to read it. And I'm pretty sure the third book is either coming out very, very soon or it's already been released, so I really need to get on it, but it's so intimidating because it is such a chonker of a book. Besides the point, read The Crown of Feathers and Heart of Flames and then the third book, which I think is called Wings of Shadows, something like that. Read it, let me know how the other two are, and tell me that I need to read it in the comments because I really gotta get my butt into gear, you know? Next up, another five-star read from me. It is The Arrangement by Robin Harding. This follows Natalie, who is a young, struggling student who wants to become an artist. She decides that she is going to become a sugar baby in order to make a little bit of money. So when Natalie enters an agreement with a older man named Gabe. She instantly falls in love with them and decides that uh, they are going to be together forever. The only problem is, is that Gabe has another family who he wants to keep very separate from Natalie. So she decides that she's going to infiltrate his life and become best friends with his daughter. Nat begins drinking very heavily and she starts to spiral out of control, but she is determined to ruin Gabe's reputation. Gabe is not having any of it, but then a body is discovered outside of Gabe's apartment and things get a little bit complicated. I actually listened to this on audiobook and being able to hear Nat's emotions and what she was going through definitely bumped up my rating. So I'm not 100% sure if I would have given it a 5 out of 5 stars if I hadn't listened to it on audiobook, so take that as you will. The chapters are really short and right from the prologue I was instantly hooked into it. Each chapter has a like title that kind of draws you into what's going to be happening in that chapter, which was really intriguing because some of them you're like, what the fuck does that mean? Nat was an absolute train wreck, but it was one of those train wrecks where you can't stop watching because you want to know what's going to happen next. Gabe was a terrible manipulative man and I really hated him, but it was really intriguing to see the blurring lines of the relationship and you could never really tell if Gabe Gabe was actually falling in love with Natalie or not, or if he was just manipulating her. It was just really fun. I definitely recommend it if you're into like domestic thrillers. It's a good one. Next up, I have a 4.5 out of 5 stars, but it could have been a 5. I just don't really remember why I didn't give it a 5 out of 5 stars, but it is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. It doesn't look like it's red, but but it is very red, so I'm counting it. But this follows Grace and Jack, who seem to have the perfect marriage. Jack is a very charming man who works as a lawyer to defend battered women, and then Grace seems to be the ideal perfect wife, but looks can be very deceiving. And when the people that you love are in danger, you will stop at nothing in order to protect them, and it's the story of that. I was so invested in this story. Right from the first chapter, I was so 
intrigued by these characters and the plot and I just needed to know what was going to happen next and I ended up reading this book in one sitting because that's how addictive it was. We get alternating timelines from the past and the present and it really gives you an insight of how Grace ended up in the predicament that she was. The final line of this book is probably the best part of the story so I'm just saying you guys need to read it just so you can know what the last line is because damn what an ending definitely recommend this book. And then the final book that I have is another 4.5 out of 5 stars. It is The Perfect Mother by Amy Malloy. This book follows the May mothers who are all new mothers who gave birth in May and live in Brooklyn. All the mothers decide that they need a night out on the town so they leave their babies with their significant other. But single mother Winnie is very hesitant to leave her newborn son but then the May mothers hire a babysitter for her and end up convincing convincing her to go out. When she returns from her night out, she finds her son Midas missing from his crib with a very distraught babysitter claiming to have fallen asleep and hearing nothing and it's like the story of them trying to find this baby. This is another one that I really didn't think that I was going to like as much as I did. It was so fast paced and just such a roller coaster of emotions. The book is told in multiple perspectives and it's a lot of people saying what they think about this missing child and Winnie and all of that jazz. There are so many twists and turns that I just did not see coming. This was a super quick read. It's another one that you can't put down. I think I ended up reading it in two sittings, but it's an overall thrill ride, so I definitely recommend it. checking this one out as well. Also, it doesn't look very red, but I'm counting it because the spine is red and the back is kind of red, so we're doing it for the red Roy D. Biv series, okay? All right, everybody, so that was my red video for my Roy G. Biv series. Please let me know if somebody else has already done this type of video so that I can give them credit down below because like I said I honestly did not do my research for this. Please let me know so I can credit people who need to be credited. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. Also leave some recommendations down below for some orange books that I need to check out because while trying to make a list of the books that I can include in this series I realized that I have not read like any orange books that I actually enjoyed. So please give me some recommendations so I can make the second part of this series. Awesome. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!